hello and welcome to the um, Wilcom video short series for the Embroidery Studio E4.0. Uh, my name is James and I'm going to show you today how to go in and change the settings uh, in the setup menu in order to enhance your embroidery experience. Uh, today basically I'm going to go in and sometimes um, I'm just going to go to a file here and I'm going to import a graphic in. Um, sometimes when you uh, open up the uh, designs and you want to go in and you want to make changes or adjustments uh, to how um, things work inside the software. Um, I'm going to also click here and I'm going to click on uh, the instant smart design tool just to, to stitch everything. Now when you're editing uh, sometimes when you go in um, and I select here and press H here for the reshape tool um, normally when we go to reshape tool this is what the traditional uh, reshape does here on the screen. Um, you do have an option also to go in and change that uh, to use the Bezier um, editing uh, tools inside the program also and as I click my pick tool here uh, I'm just gonna go in I'm gonna navigate up top here to my setup tab and I'm gonna choose options okay under options here if I want to change the settings here for the way that I edit uh, my objects here uh, what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna click on reshape tool and from here I can navigate down and I can choose uh, the Bezier and I'm going to click OK here. So now when I go in and I select here and I go to my reshape tool here um, I have the option here to go in to zoom in and use the Bezier tools here uh, to turn the shapes width like this to go in and make adjustments with it also uh, versus uh, as I press S here using the regular mode for this I have my handles here that I can use for editing and this is the way that that works inside the software okay and it lets you go in if you like to use the Bezier tools inside the program uh, that's what you'll be able to do here inside the software to change that from the traditional uh, moving the node points regularly okay and that's the way that, that works um, you also have inside your software the ability to um, if I if I go in and I digitize an object on the screen uh, you have some tools under setup and under options and here you can actually go in and you can adjust the settings here for your closest join and what this means is um, I've got mine currently turned off here but what you can do um, especially if you're a, a new user uh, you can choose closest join here inside the program to allow the software to uh, join the two closest objects together uh, without doing a trim uh, because of the connections um, your play button sounds here also so if you uh, click your uh, mouse button if it does uh, the noise and you want to turn that off of course you can choose uh, uncheck here play button sounds okay if you like to use the crosshair like I do for digitizing um, you can select here for your cross uh, for your crosshair cursor okay now uh, what you have here also under your save options is it tells you basically with the check by the box here that the system itself automatically saves uh, every design every 10 minutes here okay and you want to have always create a backup copy selected because in case the power goes out for any reason or anything else happens uh, you just want to be able to uh, uh, you want to be able to go in and uh, go to your backup uh, folder and bring that file back in to continue working with it okay and so here this tells you basically how to go in and how to do that okay um, what you have here also you have your grids and guides under your grids and guides basically it allows you to go in and uh, turn on the grids uh, I've got mine turned off currently um, you can turn those on and you can set a, uh, a measurement here in place what most people use either uh, a half inch or uh, an inch uh, for the boxes on the screen and uh, it will place uh, one uh, one and a half inch boxes here on the screen for you as well you have the option also to choose snap uh, to grid when you're going in digitizing uh, points and things like that where it'll actually snap to the grid uh, that is an option here for you also that you can use inside the uh, program view design um, here as far as the visibility um, you can go in and choose um, um, to show the whole design when you're working here uh, here's the true view um, selected here it, it turns on the true view when you press the T key um, you have the outlines and everything here connectors function uh, symbols 
applique fabric and the bling. And so here uh, you have these objects that are turned on uh, for the defaults that you can actually go in and uh, edit these uh, to change the, uh, the way that they uh, behave uh, when you're working inside the software. Edit mode here you have the ability to go in and um, choose the object property positions here uh, inside the program and uh, here we'll let you go in and you could adjust those uh, based on uh, the X and Y coordinates here inside the software and so if, if this is something that you want to go in and uh, adjust here's where you would do it at um, if you're unfamiliar with these actually I would just I would just leave these alone actually but to the more advanced users uh, if you're going in and you are uh, adjusting any settings inside the program this is where you would do this uh, as far as inside the options here you have warnings here also um, here that you can turn on um, and here um, depending on what you want it to uh, activate inside the program uh, just the ZSK file name here selected um, again this is one thing that I would just uh, if you're not familiar with this um, you know I would just leave it just like it is for, for the default your scroll here you have the ability to uh, enable auto scrolling here and you can move your pointer here after the auto scroll as well and here it lets you um, uh, choose a um, response time here for it as well you can choose fast or slow uh, depending on how fast you click your mouse button uh, that's where you actually go in and you would do this as well um, your mouse wheel behavior here is where you would control these options here and it lets you go in and adjust them uh, based on um, the settings that you have here and the other options that you have here also so if you're not happy with what's going on here with the default you can go in and you can adjust these inside your software uh, to allow you um, a better uh, digitizing experience with your program reshape mode here when you generate stitches immediately for these items here okay I'm gonna change my behavior back here to, to traditional okay um, here um, as you go in you can uh, go in you can tell the uh, knife fragments here um, here whether you want it to create the travels between them um, create the branched objects between them here um, or the as far as the re reorders the blocks here based on uh, the uh, items not traveling between each other actually is what that's for and um, that's going to be the reshape reshape uh, here for your um, here for your export I'm sorry um, here is the location where uh, the uh, properties will save all of your export items here when you go uh, to your file drop menu and you choose uh, export um, multi um, document files here decoration files here the location where it's saved is what this is here uh, but you can you can change that from that uh, area as well and so that is going to do it for the uh, quick references here uh, for the setup uh, as you go into your software and you're working thank you so much for your time as always we ask that you join us at www.willcomeamerica.com thank you and have a good day